Hi Bennett, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> so, we are right here standing with your artwork. I see it in the background. Mm -hmm. That's my artwork. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. And I discovered I loved to draw when I was in kindergarten, actually. And my art teacher asked me to make a card for my mom. And this card was a really extraordinary because I went hard with it. And I said to myself, you know what? I think I want to be an artist when I get older. So now, at the age of 21, I'm trying to take my art more seriously, you know, and get it out there for the world to see. Mm -hmm. I put a lot of my emotions into this, like whether I'm feeling sad, dark, or, or witty. I just put it into paper. But on So what's what inspires you to draw? What inspires me to draw is uh, well, a lot of a lot of my um thoughts that I used to have when growing up, I used to feel anxiety over them and my cousins used to make fun of me, you know, over the over the way that I ex express myself. They told me that I was, you know, sometimes I'd be, that would creepy. But so I used the opportunity to put them on paper as my way of coping with it, uh -huh. and you know, being able to express myself freely and let people see what's on my mind and not be afraid to express myself anymore. Uh -huh. So share with me some of these arts. So what, with this image, what, why you painted this one? Well, I was uh, I was trying to draw for real at first, and it didn't work out. So I kept it anyway, and I decided to just add stuff to it to make it look interesting. Mm -hmm. And which of all of these here are your favorites? Um, out of all of these, my favorite one is this one portrait of a character from a movie. It's called Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, I kind of used to, I, it's a very romantic film, and I used to kind of have a crush on her. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about this one. This one is, it's based off of a movie that I was thinking about in my own head that I invented. <laughs> I don't who knows, I might consider filmmaking, go to school for that, but if this one is based off a character in this vision that I have. I daydream about this circus and it's like haunted and shut down. And I figured I'd make some haunted looking gothic characters who work at the circus. So basically you see visions and visuals in your head and you put it on paper and and you said it's almost like a movie in your head. It, so you similar. try to put it on paper. That's an interesting way. And what about this one right here? Uh, that this one is the same thing. It's but it's uh, it's a house, but it's an ex it's like an exhibit in the circus. Mm -hmm. Why well, is he coming out of the toilet? That's the whole kooky <laughs> idea. He's it's supposed to be a whacked out place. What in the circus movie? Yes. In your in your mind? In my mind. Okay. <laughs> as freaky as it is, I put it on paper anyway. Uh huh. So tell me more about the others. What about this one right here? Oh, this dear. one is beautiful to me. I like this one. That's, that's kind of ironic because I, I thought people would be spooked by it. No, that's kind of like a, a birth of sort. Well, that's... Or well, the rebirth of you because the character almost looks like you too. Oh, that, that's an interesting way to view it though because I wasn't really thinking anything much when I did it. Mm -hmm. But at the time when I did draw it, I was feeling trapped. Where I was staying at my mom's house, going through a lot of stuff, needed my freedom. Uh -huh. I sat in the park alone and I just drew this. That's interesting that it came out this way. Tell me about the ladybug. <laughs> ladybug? I'm, I love ladybugs. <laughs> the ladybugs make me feel very happy. 
What's interesting too is that you have like a ladybug, but then you also have like a zombie coming out of a toilet. So you yeah. have, you know, a wide perspective of life and art. And my art is bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. And this one of this beautiful lady that looks almost like Beyonce or someone. And that's actually the name of the picture. <laughs> oh, it is Beyonce? Yeah. No, beautiful lady. Oh, beautiful lady. Yeah. It is beautiful. I, I love I love the curves of the body in the background. Oh, cool. So, how will you best describe your work? Well, I will... If you were to... If you were to describe all of your work, how will you describe it? If I was to describe all of my work, I'm mostly reaching out to people who feel afraid of their thoughts when they're usually just creative people, creative mm -hmm. individuals. And I want everyone to be able to express themselves and not be afraid of who they are. Because in the beginning, I would have been too afraid to draw a zombie coming out of a toilet. And who knows? I don't even know how much it's worth yet. <laughs> but, I'm, mm -hmm. but I took the chance and just did it anyway, whether people think I'm crazy or not. Mm -hmm. And then my, I did my romantic and my pretty pictures at the same time, taking the risk that people might think that, oh, he's like really fruity, you know, or like the, any negative slurs or any, but at the same time, you gotta forget about haters anyway, though, uh -huh. because people are gonna say negative things regardless, anyway. <laughs> yeah, whether you're an artist or whatever. It's That's why I learned that through the process. Right. And this one of the the birth of the child inside the jacket. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. I just did it anyway. And what, and what, what, what represents the spikes in the background? That's, that's what I was just going to explain. Like most of these pictures that I don't, if not when I'm not feeling anything while I'm doing them, mostly I'm inspired by this artist named Clive Barker. I don't, many people don't know him, but he's, he's also a film producer and he directed the movie Candyman. And he paints as well. And he goes in, he, his pictures are worse than, I mean, than dark wise, his pictures are worse than mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when, I, when I'm afraid to draw something that might be disturbing, I think more of Clive Barker. All right. Well, that's nice. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. So for people who are interested in, in buying your artwork or for if they want their portrait painted by you, how would they contact you? Well, you can contact me at B-E-N-N-E-T-T-E-A-N-D-R-E-W at Hotmail.com. That's my first name and my last name at Hotmail.com. It's Bennett Andrew at Hotmail.com. <laughs> so feel free to email me if you're interested in my art or if you're interested in me drawing a picture of you similar to what you see. If you're interested, I really appreciate it. Or you can tell other people about me. You'd be really helping someone who's trying to make it. And remember, even Lady Gaga stands up for that. Right? <laughs> she wants us to all reach our dreams and be able to be who we are. And she would be smiling right now if she saw this. Maybe you should that, paint that you her guys next were supporting CD. Me. Maybe you should do her next <laughs> CD cover. <laughs> wow, who knows? I hope I will. Well, cool. Thank you for sharing your art. And thank you for your time. You're welcome.